It's showtime, Mason! What'd you see, Woods? Sand. Sand and more fucking sand. Hudson's contact's on his way. You reckon we can trust the Chinese? We can't hear. They've been supporting the Mujahideen same as us. They know if Russian was in Afghanistan, they'd be looking at China next. No one likes the Russians, huh? You know me. I don't like anyone. You might want to get your head down. Take it easy, Sal! Deliver the weapons. Now, what about your end of the deal? I will take you to the leader of the Mujahideen. He can help you find Raoul Menendez. We have fresh horses. You will follow. Oh, shit. Let's do it. Mason, it's Hudson. Did you make contact with Jiao? We're on our way to the Mujahideen camp now. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that our presence here must remain 100% deniable. There will be serious consequences if Russia learns of our involvement in Afghanistan. The only way they'll find out is they take us down. Yo, that ain't gonna happen. We must hurry. We believe the Soviets are about to launch an attack on the camp. Major, yeah. kick it up again! Yeah. This way. If a Russian attack is indeed imminent, you're going to need all the help you can get. I've arranged for a couple of specialists to act in an advisory capacity. Here they are now. Ramon, this is Woods and Mason, my two best men. We need weapons, not soldiers. This should be good. Just so we're clear, we hold off the Russian attack, you give us what you have on Menendez. Our base is here. Any advance will come through one of the narrow passes leading into the valley. I know this. Our men defend these mountains. Our weapons will give them an That's edge. That's a bullshit plan. You're talking about the Russian army here. They come at you with brute force, which means strength in numbers and heavy armor. Are your men ready for that? They have no experience with the weaponry we brought. And we do. We belong on the front line. The Russian assault has begun. Yalla! Yalla! What are we you have faith in your plans, America. I got more than faith, Zhao. Let's rock it. We must hurry! We cannot allow them to enter the valley! Settle up, Mason.
Matriarch's history! was one tough son of a bitch. Bet your ass he was. Kravchenko basically carved a hole in his head and he sucked those fucking numbers in there. Then he survived that. Well, <laughs> they just didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Mason. This isn't over yet. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me?
What the fuck? It's fucking Kravchenko. Shit. Of course he's involved in all this. Kravchenko must die. <sighs> Couple times, I saw the tick. And they get that look in his eyes and scanning the room. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's talking to the Russian. Fucking Reznov. <laughs> Good old Tricky Vic. Woods, maybe I should handle this interrogation. Maybe you see the fuck out of my way. I can unfinished business with this bastard. <laughs> I left you to rot in Vietnam, Sergeant Woods. You should be dead. Well, nobody told me. My buddy Raman tells me you're doing business with a Nicaraguan named Raul Menendez. What do you do for him? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> you believe in an eye for an eye? Huh? This is a Mujahideen, baby. They'll bury you up to your neck, peel your eyelids back, and leave you to fry in the desert. I'll take you out quick. Tell me about Menendez. I sell him weapons. That Must doesn't die. sound too Soviet of you, brother. The Soviet Union is dying. Money's over. Where are the weapons go? Cuba. Angola. The third world. Why? Menendez wants to see you will burn. But that's not gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> He's more powerful than you know. He even has people in the CIA. Bullshit! <laughs> this guy's fucking with us. The fuck are you doing? Menendez told me you must suffer. You face piece of shit. We have you fight the Russians on your side. No. No, you are and always will be our true enemy. Without water and shelter, you may last a day. If you are strong, So, we're in a desert buried, the year. So who does your father think rides up on a horse to save us? Tricky Vic. Yeah, see? You're just like your old man. No, it wasn't him. That's not. Come on, if you think it was him, don't you think he would have stuck around for a bit, huh? Maybe explain some shit? Admiral on deck? Thank you. Check out this beauty. Chairman Tian Zhao. Leader of China's military. The head of the SDC coalition's armed forces. Cocksucker plays hardball, even with China's government. They have as much control over him as we do. This cat walks alone. Chairman Zhao's squeezing Russia's balls real tight. Commander. If Russia caves in and joins SDC, they'd be the largest military force on the planet. Which is precisely what Menendez wants, setting up the superpowers to wipe each other out. Right now, Iran and India are both under threat. SDC's making their move. Time for JSOC to step up. Their initial strike caught us off guard and crippled our primary defenses. 
We held them off, but our regiment was decimated. We cannot withstand another attack. Was it SDC, Commander? We were hit by ground and air drones. FOB Spectre is vital to securing India's northern border. For rapid response, our only option is to halo in. The enemy's primary objective will be to smash the defense grid by targeting power generators in the satellite uplinks. If the grid goes down, there's nothing to stop them from penetrating the main control room. If that happens, FOB Spectre is down and it's open season on India.